There are 104 nuclear power reactors in the United States, and plans are underway to build at least 20 more. But now the disaster in Japan is raising some serious safety concerns and questions for some of those facilities. CBS News correspondent John Blackstone is in Avila Beach, California, with more on this angle. John, good morning. Good morning, Erica. Well, here along the central California coast, the region is crisscrossed with earthquake faults. And right here is one of California's two nuclear power plants, Diablo Canyon. So a lot of people in this part of California are now asking, now wondering, looking at the, what's happening in Japan and the nuclear plants there and wondering, what if? The Diablo Canyon nuclear plant is located right on the Pacific coast, vulnerable not only to earthquakes, but also to a tsunami. California's other nuclear plant, San Onofre near San Diego, is similarly built on the ocean's edge in earthquake country. Its owner insists there's no reason to worry. The best science says that uh, we could see about five miles from the plant an earthquake perhaps equal to a magnitude 6.5, 6.6. So we designed the plant to exceed the maximum threat. It's designed to withstand a 7.0. But the images of destruction from Japan suggest our best science may fall short when it comes to predicting the destructive power of nature. And experts say Japan's earthquake readiness has always been more rigorous. Nobody's ever prepared for this kind of earthquake, but, but uh, compared to Japan, probably we're uh, not nearly as prepared as Japan. In California, an annual drill called the Great Shakeout simulates a major quake. But what happened Friday in Japan gives a sobering new look at what a major earthquake really looks like. In Japan, the ground shook for two and a half minutes. The earthquake that hit San Francisco in 1989 lasted just 15 seconds. Bridges and highways collapsed. Whole neighborhoods were destroyed. 1989 was 70 miles south of the Bay Area proper. And we think our next big earthquake will occur right in the middle of the urban center. The collapse of part of the San Francisco-Oakland Bay Bridge in 89 made it a symbol of the state's vulnerable infrastructure. Construction of the replacement bridge won't be complete for another two years, but the new bridge includes innovations designed to let it bend and swing and rock in a major earthquake. That readiness, though, comes at a cost, more than $6 billion. Now, this uh, nuclear power plant has been operating since 1985, and the utility that runs it insists it's earthquake safe. But less than three years ago, another fault was discovered just offshore here, and studies are still underway to, to uh, learn what kind of risk that presents. Erica? We'll be watching that. John Blackstone with us this morning. John, thanks.